I just want to uh, offer my uh, deep apologies to all those who are impacted uh, over these last few weeks, um, specifically my uh, Jewish relatives, my black relatives, um, you know, all races and cultures. I feel like we all felt the impact, and I don't stand for anything uh, close to hate speech or anti-Semitism or anything that is anti going against the human race. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like we all should have an opportunity to speak for ourselves uh, when things are assumed about us. And uh, I feel it was, it was necessary for me to stand in this place and take accountability for my actions um, because there, there was a way I should have handled all this. Um, you know, and as I look back and reflect, uh, when, I have, when I had the opportunity to uh, offer my deep regrets to um, you know, anyone that felt threatened or felt hurt uh, by what I posted, um, you know, that wasn't my intent at all. I meant no harm to any person, any group of people. Um, and yeah, this is a big moment for me because I'm able to learn uh, throughout this process that the power of my voice is, is very strong. The influence that I have within my community is very strong. And I want to be responsible for that. Uh, in order to do that, uh, you have to admit when uh, you're wrong in, in instances where you hurt people and it impacts them. Um, you know, and I just wanted to clarify some things as well on my end. Um, you know, when I was searching of the documentary, I was just searching up my name and searching uh, for a deeper understanding of my heritage and where I come from. My name is Kyrie Irving. Uh, my mom uh, named me that for a reason. Uh, and I'm here to take on, you know, this ongoing dialogue of where we need to go with this conversation uh, between uh, not just the Jewish and black community, but all communities that want to see change in our world. So I'm just grateful that I'm able to uh, stand here, know that I'm supported and loved by uh, my family members, but all my friends, um, because they know I represent something bigger out here in the world. And I'm a man of peace and I have integrity and I have sacred honor amongst all those that I'm around. Um, and we hold true this uh, peaceful oath to make sure that we're there for each other uh, in times like this. So I'm grateful that I have a great supporting system around me. It should have been uh, uh, you know, on the first day that I uh, was dealing with all this uh, of just uh, being there for all those that felt like this was uh, anti-Semitic. Uh, and, and I should have uh, clarified that I'm not anti-Semitic and I am not anti anything uh, when it comes to the way I live my life. So the learning lesson for me was just the, the power of my platform uh, and the impact that it can cause, uh, you know, if it's not taken care of the right way. So uh, meeting with different people within uh, the Jewish community has, has offered me uh, some clarity on a deeper understanding of what's going on and the impact that was made and the hurt that was caused. Uh, and that's why I'm here apologizing, um, you know, because I felt it was it was necessary in my heart to extend the olive branch, the invitation to let everyone know, not just in the Jewish community, but all races in our world that uh, I'm here to listen and, and I'm here to stand with you uh, against, um, you know, any issues that uh, may be plaguing your community. Uh, so this fight is uh, much bigger than myself and I'm not alone in this. I know all those that, that share the same alignment of uh, seeing a more peaceful world are with me on this. Uh, so, you know, that's just what I've been able to learn is just sit back and reflect and have conversations.